started on the bench. Here Pioneers coming off a 5-1 victory against Graceland University. Pioneers looking to win out the rest of the season to uh, retain the conference championship title, earn an automatic bid into the national tournament. Your Pioneers rank number nine in the coaches poll, number eight in the MRPI. Pioneers coming to this game. 12, 2, and 1. And Bryce plays it over to JT on the left side. <clears throat> Finds Monty in the middle. Monty trying to create something. Has a shot. Rolls just right for the goal. It's going to be a goal kick for Mount Mercy. Mount Mercy comes in the game 8, 7, and 1 with a 4 and 5 record in the hack. Jan starts to fall over, just rolling it over to JT. Looking at having you looking to build possession through the midfield, creating opportunities. Not really looking to force anything. Pioneers are going to throw in on the far side. Pioneers are in a free kick about 45 yards out. Looking to serve this ball into the box now. Good ball in. Cleared out by Mount Mercy. Foul in favor of Mount Mercy now. Good pursuit there from Etienne. Clark with a nice spin move. Looking to switch the point of attack now as we move it around the back line. Find Clark. Clark looking to hold it up. It's a foul within shooting distance now for the Pioneers. I assume Matias Cabello will be over the ball. And my assumption correct. About 25 yards out. Prime shooting distance for free kicks. Pioneers looking to go up 1 0 early. Ball's chipped in. Keeper fumbles it. 
regains possession now. Jakey. I'm waiting for Jakey to come. <laughs> That ball is played in. Friendly Zephyrin there to cover. Played back to Jan. Jan finds Bryce to restart the possession now. Now I said. Just us. Like I said before, your Pioneers ranked eighth in the MRPI. In case you guys don't know what that is, that is the uh, power ranking index that determines at-large bids for nationals. And I believe there's only about six at-large spots and really anywhere anyone ranked in the top ten will most likely receive an at-large bid if they can't win it in the conference or the conference tournament. Corner kick from Mount Mercy now. <clears throat> Ball whipped back post. Ball played back across now to face a goal. And it's cleared out. Dom holding it up, finds Clark. Clark with a big touch now. Unable to keep it in. Pioneers looking to settle down now, creates more opportunities. Etienne trying to play Dom in, and it rolls out for a goal kick. Another free kick now. This one about 30, 35 yards out. Also good position for a possible shot. Let's see Escobedo over this one. Again, last one he served in. We'll see if this one he tries to put it on frame. Another ball chipped in. Philippe Abreu is there. And a foul in favor of Mount Mercy now. Mount Mercy regained possession on the small foul off Felipe Abreu. And they start short now, starting from their back line. Big clearance up. And the Pioneers regain possession. Good one-two touch there. Trying to find Clark with the through ball. Mount Mercy really sitting back on the Pioneers. Looking to just poke it away, create something off a counterattack. JT joins the attack now. Finds Dom. Quick touches. Looking to sneak Dom back into the box, but it rolls all the way to the keeper. With a quick punt. Trying to catch the Pioneers defense out of sorts. Good recovery from both defenders and midfielders. And they poke it away. It seems as if Mount Mercy is only really attacking with three or four players.
Good switch now to Fleet. Fleet looking to take this guy on. Cuts him in the middle. It's poked away. <clears throat> Pioneers doing a good job scoring these last two games, scoring a total of 10, 10 goals in two games with a 5-1 win over Culver Stockton and a 5-1 win over Graceland. And an offsides call. No, it was offsides. Dom picks up the ball. We're going to sneak someone in. Mati. Dom. Shot. Just over the goal. It's going to be a goal kick. Good combination play there at the top of the 18 between Mati, Dom. We have a injured Mount Mercy player now at the top of the 18. Clock stops. You can sit. Oh, no. Back for this. Yeah. 32-39 left to go in the first half. Pioneers with a couple of good opportunities here in the first 15 minutes. Mount Mercy only really having one all right chance. And we're back under play. Small hands to the back foul there on Philippe Abreu. Mount Mercy on a free kick. We'll see what they do, whether they start or try and serve it in. And they're gonna they're gonna start with a pass out wide. Felipe Abreu there to intercept that touch. <clears throat> Andrew McClanahan. We're going to switch the field of play now. Etienne finds Andrew back in the middle now. Andrew looking to find France out wide. Francis Lee cuts to the line. And he earns a free kick. On the side of the 18. Pioneers basically earn a corner kick, just a little bit closer. We'll see if this affects the service or not. Matias Cabello over the ball. I know it's probably looking to run a set piece here. Ball tried to get whipped in under him. It's going to be a throw in. Looks like Francis Lee Zephyr is going over to take it. It's going to look to serve it to the back stick. Francis Zephyrin with the throw in. Look to flicked on. And Dom looking to chip it over to the keeper. Not able to get there in time. Keeper again with another quick punt. Trying to catch the MNU defenders out. Another offsides call. And the Pioneers start again. Andrew McClanahan starting today. 
as Eduardo Herringer not feeling 100%. So we may see him later on in the game off the bench. <laughs> JT joining the attack now. With a shot, and it rolls left of the goal. It's me a goal kick from Mount Mercy. Pioneers are going to throw in on the far side. Good wall pass there. Dom in the box. And it's played out. JT collects it now. Takes his space. Finds Dom. Hacked in the back there. Ref gives 19 a warning. Earn a free kick now about 30 yards out. Another opportunity to serve the ball in. Andrew McClanahan and Mati both over the ball. Andrew's looking to serve this ball in. Can't get it up and over the first defender. Looks to head it back in. And it's cleared out now. Bryce plays it back to Jan now. Jan finds France Lee looking to start possession over again. As Mount Mercy looks to kind of be putting on high pressure, but it's very disorganized as far as who's stepping, who's not, who's joining in the pressure. And Philippe Abreu takes the ball in, finds Dom on the left side. Looking to sneak Abreu back in. Abreu with the cross, back post, and it's headed out of the box. And we collect the ball now back. It's whipped into the box, settled by Dom. And Philippe and Dom not on the same page as far as who's going to make the run and where. It's going to be another goal kick for Mount Mercy. 27 and a half left to go. Pioneers and Mount Mercy both looking to get on the board first. As Mount Mercy looking to get a result here to help to keep their playoff contentions alive as the top eight teams make it into the conference tournament. Ball is whipped into the box there, headed out. Mati picks it up now. Pioneer is doing a good job of winning the ball back right away within the first five seconds. It rarely gets out of the, over the midfield line on an attack. But as I say that, Mount Mercy mounting a counter attack here. Play out wide to the box. Whipped across. Well saved by Jan there. Stopping any kind of threat that Mount Mercy had. Pioneers pick up the ball now. And looking to possess it, possess it back up the field through the midfield with these quick passes. As you can see, they get one, two touches, and they pass it off. Even if they have space ahead of them, really just looking to keep the tempo of the game up. JT looking to take his space here, join the attack. JT finds Clark, and Clark hold it up. Lays it back off now. Finds Monty, Dom. Bryce, Dom, shot right at the keeper. 
Good combination play through the middle of the field there. Keeper once again looking to go big, fast, trying to catch the MNU Pioneers. Out of position. Hasn't worked so far. A couple offsides calls. This one's headed out for a throw in. Trying to whip a ball in. Francis there to cut it off though. And we restart possession. Francis Zephyr looking to take it up the side. That uh, looked to be a foul there. Ref stopping the clock, signaling he's going to be handing out his first yellow card of the game. Francis Zephyrin still on the ground, and he's up on his feet now. And the Pioneers just start with a short free kick. They're midfield playing one two touch. Mati looking to slide in. Etienne there. It's poked away. Mati with the ball again. Finds Francie down the line. Ref stops the clock. We're going to talk to both Mount Mercy and Pioneers, Francis Zephyrin, telling them to settle down, calm down. Shot by Mount Mercy, well off the frame of the goal. It's going to be a goal kick for the Pioneers. Pioneers probably looking to go short here. Mount Mercy steps up. Jan sees Philippe on the side, not able to quite hit his target. Mount Mercy looking to press, and the Pioneers regain possession. Played out wide to Etienne. And the Pioneers are in a throw in. Ooh, ball's cut back. Dom in the top of the box. Mati finds a corner. Goal for the Pioneers by Matias Cabello. Scored by uh, Matias Cabello. Pioneers lead 1-0 now in their homecoming game against Mount Mercy with 23 minutes left to go in the match. Well defended there by Francis Zephyrin. Hey, next 
time they score, don't just hit play, press that, press goal again so it starts from the beginning. Pioneers not looking to just settle with one goal today. Looking to try and tack on as many as they can, really secure their lead. Mount Mercy, however, mount a chance, and it's going to be offsides on the far side of the game, on the far side of the 18. Johannes Kaiser is down in the box right now. I think he might have taken the ball to the back. And he's back up on his feet. Throw in for Mount Mercy now. I'm looking to switch the ball over to Philippe. Unable to do so, it's intercepted by Mount Mercy. And Pioneers throw in. Monty carries the ball in the middle of the field here. Monty looking to find Philippe. Philippe out wide. Philippe cuts back. Cuts back again. Slides it across the goal and it's cleared out. Back to Matias Cabello. Monty takes a step. Probably looking to cross this ball into the box here. Finds Philippe back out wide now. Philippe into the middle of the field from Bryce. A nice little flick back to Johannes and we starting over again. Pioneers in no hurry here to get another goal. Just looking to maintain possession of the ball. Clark with a shot, and it's just wide. It's going to be a goal kick. Good play there. See, the whole time the Pioneers had the ball, they were constantly moving on and off the ball, able to create possession, runs, able to move the ball up the field and find Clark. Clark able to turn and just has a shot and just wide left of the goal. Pass an outstretched keeper. And Pioneer's looking to do the same again. Just joining us, Pioneer's lead 1-0 with a goal in about the 22nd minute. Great ball into the box from Johannes Kaisers. Unable to retain possession there. Mount Mercy looking to counter with a two on four. And then you drop in heavy numbers behind the ball. They have about eight people behind the ball now. And the counterattack is essentially over now. Looking to just start something from nothing. And the Mount Mercy earn a corner kick. Balls whipped in the box. Jan calls it.
finds Francely out wide. Plays out wide to Etienne. Etienne looks to cut to the middle, finds Dom. Dom somehow maintains possession of the ball there. It's going to be a foul on Mount Mercy now. If the AR calls that. Mousy looking to whip the ball into the box here with a nice service. And it's cleared out. Good little flick there from Bryce. Able to keep the ball. Etienne finds it. Finds Philippe in the middle of the field and dummies it. Lays off to Andrew. Andrew plays out wide to Clark. Clark runs it down. Cuts back. Looking to put a service in. Finds Philippe now. Philippe looking to find someone to add on to the possession with. Ball's played out wide to Francie. Francie's got a one on one. Takes him, cuts inside. Another cut. Looking to find Clark. Clark there with a shot. Great save there from the Mount Mercy goalkeeper. Great save. Pioneers earn a goal kick though. That's an absolute great shot with an even better save. Ball was whipped from the corner of the 18. Looked to be curling into the back post and the keeper with a great save pushes it outside the post. Pioneers are a corner kick out of this. Coming out of the field for the Pioneers, we have Javier Beltran coming in for Philippe Abreu. We have Trey Hunyak entering the game. And we also have Kyle Barcelis. Bryce McClanahan with the rip, and it's going wide of the goal here. Pioneers go into a 4-3-3, four, four, three, three, it looks like. Bryce and Monty not on the same page there. Pioneers defense looking strong though. Well organized, able to shut down all counterattacks so far. 13-45 left to go in the first half. Pioneers lead 1-0. Johannes takes the ball up the field, plays Francis Zephyrin in. Pioneers are in a throw in. They play quick. Etienne finds Francie. Francie cuts inside, cuts inside, looks to serve a ball across the goal line, finds Dom. Dom deflected off of a defender, and it's going to be. A corner kick for the Pioneers. We've got Mati over the ball here. Ball gets whipped in now. Headed wide by Johannes Kaisers. Etienne out there to win the ball back though. Good little move. Finds Bryce. Bryce looking to whip the ball in now. Played back post to Johannes Kaisers. It's up in the air. It's up in the air. It's over the goal. It's going to be a goal kick for, the Pine, uh, for Mount Mercy. Mount 
Mount Mercy looking to start quick now. Really just Mount Mercy's game plan so far looks to be sit in, wait for the wait to win the ball, and look to catch Pioneers on a counterattack. Number 15 on Mount Mercy having a little bit of pace. Javier Beltran able to keep up. Kicks it out for a throw in. They have a long throw. It looks like they're setting up for. And it's thrown in now. And they're going to do it again. Ref stop the play. For Mount Mercy was subbing. <clears throat> and it's thrown in. Collected by Jan. Jan rolls it to Francie now. Francie looking to counter with his pace. Francie with a one-on-one, -on -one, finds Dom. Dom lays it off for Kyle. Kyle look to find Trey. Javier Beltran runs up the field now. Good header there from France to find Etienne. Etienne tries to cut it back. Nudged out for a throw in. We're under 10 minutes left to go now in the first half. Pioneers lead 1-0. Good turn there from Dom. Dom plays TT out wide. Etienne looking to take him on. Whips the ball into the box. It's popped up to the top of the 18, controlled by Kyle. Kyle looks to find Javi now, and the Pioneers still retain possession, although an Aaron pass turns it over. Looking to find a runner on the back stick. Francie's there, though and clears it away. Dom with a touch. Too far, cleared out by Mount Murphy defense. John does a good job to find Francie on the outside, running backwards. Bryce takes his space. Slides Etienne in. Etienne with the cross. Back post, Kyle was there. Kyle lays it off for Javi. Back out to Kyle. Javi finds Dom. Oh, that's Trey. Finds Trey. Trey cuts into the middle. Looking to find Bryce there. Keeper calls it. Mount Mercy ball. Seven minutes left to go now in the first half. 
And Mount Mercy starts from their back line now. Good combination play there in the midfield. Trey looking to take it down the line. Finds Dom, it just rolls over his foot. The Pioneers are there to win the ball back in the defense of third. Good layoff there. We're gonna get quick touches in the field. JT looking to join the attack now, takes his space. Looking to find Trey. Trey wins the ball off an Aaron pass, and it's cleared out by a defender. Johnny does a good job winning the ball there, reading that ball in. Johnny joining the attack with a full-fledged sprint now. Javi takes it up. Good layoff pass there from Trey. Cuts it across, nobody's back post now. Ball bounces out of the 18. Ref says play on and stops the clock now with an injured Mount Mercy player. Walked off the field now. Looks to be all right. It's going to be a drop ball. Pioneers going to play it back to the goalkeeper. And we'll get back underway. 5.24 left to go in the first half. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's rolled out to their left back. We're going to start possession from the back. Good poke away from Javi. Pioneers looking to get into halftime now. Talk about how they can maintain the rest of this game, come out with three points, and stay atop the conference table.
ball is thrown into the box, headed out by Mount Mercy, picked up again by the Pioneer midfield. Francie finds Etienne down the sideline, whips one into the box, and once again cleared out, and once again picked up by the Pioneers. Monty tries to find Luke Fisher, who has entered the game for the Pioneers on the last injury timeout. We're under three minutes left to go now in the first half. Pioneers looking to get another goal in before the halftime whistle blows. 2-0 lead would be huge going into the halftime. It's a beautiful day out, probably about 70 degrees with a slight breeze, nothing too heavy. Two players on the ground now. Etienne on the ground for the Pioneers. And number 20 on the ground for Mount Mercy. And both players are up and back running now. Picked up by Luke Fisher now in the midfield. Good turn. Kayo does a good job there to keep possession for the Pioneers. Francie with the ball now. Looking to poke Etienne in. Etienne puts the ball back post and it's out for a goal kick. Mount Mercy looking to start short again now. And a minute left to go now in the first half. Pioneers looking to get out of the half ahead of Mount Mercy now. Mount Mercy earned a free kick there. And Pioneers are going to throw in on their sideline. Good throw there by Javi. Finds Luke Fisher. Mount Mercy earn another free kick now with about 20 seconds left in the half now. And the ball is whipped into the box. It's headed out. Kyle looking to clear it. And your Pioneers going to halftime, leading Mount Mercy University 1-0. to We'll be back in about 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stick around after the game for our senior day presentation.
pictures for uh for photography class yeah, Did you have to commentate? <laughs> We're back underway here at Olathe District Activity Center. Pioneers lead 1-0 over Mount Mercy. With the goal from Matias Cabello with 22 minutes left to go in the first half. Pioneers looking to maintain the rest of the game, find a way to manage it, come out with the three points. Anything else really won't do at this stage in the season. As Baker is right behind the Pioneers by one point in the rankings, so even if we tie, Baker still goes ahead by a point.
It's a good ball in. A little too far. Keeper collects it. Pioneers look to a quick start after the foul. <coughs> Good ball in. Finds Javier. And it's cleared out. Friends sees that friend's gonna be able to pick up the ball here. Felipe picks up the ball into the box. It's cleared out. It's gonna be a corner kick for the Pioneers. Andrew McClanahan and Monty over in the corner. That ball's well whipped in there. It's going to be a goal kick for Mount Mercy. And puts a ball to the back side. Finds Andrew now. Andrew looks to find Philippe on a run back into the box. Just missed. Good interception there from Fransley. Monty looks to find Francy now. Francy with the speed. Goes down a little easy. Francis Zephrin earns a yellow card there. Balls played into the attacking third for Mount Mercy now. Philippe intercepts the ball now. It's a 2v2 with Dominic. Harrington slides Dom in. Defender does a good job just to get a touch on it. Rolls out for a throw in. Francis Zephyrin's going to go up and take this. Hopefully 
be able to add another to it. Throws in. It's headed right back out. Francie is looking to serve another ball in. Over the keeper. And on top of the net there, it's going to be a goal kick from Mount Mercy. <laughs> Mount Mercy looking to start possession from the back now. Bryce finds Francley out wide now, out to Etienne. Nice little triangle there. And they're going to switch the point of attack now. And that ball goes out to Javi now. I know he's looking to attack. It's going to be a foul in favor of the Pioneers. Do you know what the score of the football game was? Do you know what the score of the football game was? We were losing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rolls out for a Mount Mercy goal kick. Ten minutes gone in the second half now. Pioneers still lead 1-0. Pioneers earn another free kick and start quickly again. Pioneers possessing outside the 18 now. They try and put Francely in. They earn a corner kick. Mati and Andrew back out in the corner now. That ball's whipped low, and Johnny just misses it, headed back into the box now, and right to the keeper. That ball was well delivered into the box, under the first defender's foot as he tried to clear it. Johnny not able to get a touch on it, 
And, and for the keeper. JT takes his space, tries to find Dom. Dom holds it up, lays it off to Philippe. Philippe looking to get forward now. And the Pioneers earn a free kick now. Struck off the crossbar from about 35 yards out from Felipe Abreu. Great strike. It's going to be a goal kick now for Mount Mercy. Pioneers earn a throw in off the goal kick. Francie with the ball. Looking to cut back inside though. Good battle on the outside. Coming out of the field, Clark Campbell. Coming in. Clark Campbell coming in for Dominic Harrington. You mean Dewey's? Dewey's coffee shop? One in the library. Ball is played in. JT with a goal. The referee calls it offsides. <laughs> referee calls it offsides. Wasn't a goal, man. It was offsides. It was offsides, you know. <laughs> Pioneers looking really good now in the past couple minutes. Looking able to string opportunities together. 
through the midfield. Coming into the game for number 16 at Team Polk is number 19, Austin Geith. Pioneer is getting ready to defend this long throw in. Substitution for the Pioneers, number 19, Austin Geith. It's headed out by Bryce McClanahan. Mati picks it up. Finds Clark here on this near side. Mount Mercy getting desperate now. Starting to commit more fouls than they normally would. With about 26 minutes left to go in the f in the match. See if they can't replicate what they just did a few minutes earlier with no penalties. Ball's whipped in. Francis down on the ground. I'll tell, I'll tell you if it's a goal or not. Because I'll say goal. <laughs> Some subs coming in for Mount Mercy now. Francine does a good job there to cut off the line. Monty picks up the ball at the top of the 18, and it's poked away back to Clark now. Clark tries to Francine does a good job to get that ball back on the sideline. Earns a corner kick out of it. Pioneers have a, another corner kick. What do you say? I'm Nigerian. Huh? He said, like, I'm Nigerian. I'm not sure. Just say I'm done. Ball's whipped in very well. JT on the back post, not able to get anything on it. We have another goal kick from Mount Mercy.
Honestly, he picks up the ball in the midfield. Does good there. Johnny does a good job there. Well cleared out there by Jan. Pioneers earn a throw in. Good combination play, Francely, and it's poked out. Twenty two minutes left to go on the match. Pioneers still lead one zero. Really looking to add another one on. Good ball in to Javi. Javi looks to whip another ball in. Nobody's there to put it past the keeper. Keeper not able to get anything. Monty with a shot. Tries to curl it to the back post. Just puts it wide. It's going to be a goal kick for Mount Mercy. Sub coming into the game for Pioneers. Number 23, Caio Barcelos. Coming off, Matias Cabello. Substitution for the Pioneers. Caio Barcelos, Sr. Bryce does a good job there to get back and help on the defensive side of things. That ball is smashed long. It's going to be collected by the Mount Mercy goalkeeper, redistributed it out short. And they're going to look to build from the back now. Looking to go big. JT is there. Mount Mercy throw in. It's going to be another throw in for Mount Mercy. Good win there by Andrew. Andrew looks to find Clark. Just a little too direct. Picked out easily by the defender. And Mount Mercy earns a free kick now. Ball 
balls whipped to the back post. Nobody's there. It's going to roll out for a Pioneer throw in. Well, one there by Clark. Clark's going to play Francie in. Francie is in a foot race now. He cuts back through the legs of the Mount Mercy defender, but nobody's there to receive his cross. John plays the ball out wide to JT, JT back to Johnny. And the Pioneers looking to get forward again. Guys put the ball down the line, looking to find Francie. Just a bit too hard, unable to control the touch. Mount Mercy earns a free kick now from about 40, 45 yards out. <laughs> yeah. Ball's whipped in, headed out by Johnny. Kyle picks it up. Back to guys, guys clears it. Clark in a foot race now is headed back to the goalkeeper and rolled back to the guy who headed it to him. And the Pioneers are in a corner kick. Fifteen minutes left to go now in the match. Pioneers still lead 1-0, looking to put more on the scoreboard, try and secure the lead here and come out with three points to stay atop the conference leaderboard. Ball's whipped in.
Pulls to the 18, Keeper collects. Quick distribution. Rolls out for a throw in. Balls out of bounds there for a Mount Mercy throw in. Great ball in to Fransley. And it rolls out for a goal kick. 12 minutes left to go in the match now. Pioneer still looking to hold on here, walk out with three points. Ball is headed back into the midfield by JT. Andrew finds Fransley. Clark does a good job there to hold up the ball. Let the midfielders join the attack. Good combination play. Felipe Braves into the box and pushes it just wide of the goal. Keeper comes out. Philippe tries to scoop it over him. And it goes out for a goal kick for Mount Mercy. Ten minutes left to go in the match now. Pioneers knocking on the doorstep. Javi with the ball now on the left side. Crosses the ball in. It's headed back out.
Andrew with a shot from about 30 yards out. Denied by a defender. Good defending there from Javi. Able to shield the ball as the ensuing attackers sprint on past him. Pioneers earn a throw in up the field. Coming out of the game for Felipe Abreu is Trey Huniak. Pioneers earn another throw in. Seven minutes left to go in the match now. Pioneers still trying to hold on to this game. The ball's whipped to the back post. Nobody's there, though. Andrew tries to slide Trey into the box. Unable to do so, it's cut out by Mount Mercy. Good little play through the midfield there. Guy finds Fransley out wide as he dummies it through his legs and Pioneer's gonna earn a throw in. Good quick play there from Geist. Able to find Bryce in the midfield. Back to JT, to Andrew, Bryce. Under five minutes left to go to play in the match now. Pioneers still lead 1-0. Three on three now. Pioneer is able to drop numbers behind the ball now. Mount Mercy earns a free kick now with four minutes left to go in the match. Balls whipped into the box. Headed out by JT. Fransley out to defend now. And it's out for a MNU goal kick. 
Pioneers looking to see this game out. Remain atop the table. And then their destiny really under their own control there. Assuming they win this game, they'd only have to win two more games to be conference champions. Trey with a good touch there off the goal kick from Jan. Finds Clark. Clark to Bryce. Bryce to Geist. Pioneers are going to hold on to the ball for these last couple minutes here. JT finds Bryce. Bryce finds Kayo. Two eighteen left. Kyle Barcelos receives a yellow card now. Good head out by Jonathan Taylor. Well done by Trey there to win that 50-50 ball. Pioneers earn a free kick. Less than two minutes left to go in the match now. It's gonna be another throw in for the Pioneers. Give me a goal kick from Mount Mercy now. One minute left to go in the match now. Pioneers still lead 1-0. Pioneers looking on to hold on to this game to remain top of the conference leaderboards. Mount Mercy looking to go big here, trying to get something out of these last seconds. Francie with the clearance finds Clark. Let's see if Clark can take it to the corner. Out to Trey. Trey finds Kayo. Kayo's going to take it into the corner. It's going to be a goal kick now. Coming up with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's the game. Your Pioneers win. They stay aboard. They stay on top of the heart of America Athletic Conference with a 1-0 win over Mount Mercy. Your Pioneers play next week against Evangel at home at 3.30. Don't miss it. Right now we're about to celebrate some of these seniors here on senior night. Hmm? Yeah, I think I, I, yeah, I keep... 